This video will show you how to connect a master RTOT2 distributed controller to a slave cluster controller OSDP reader module combo and then connect that to an MDR SE OSDP reader. There's two reasons why you may need to do this. The first reason is AP Lite doesn't support Ethernet door controllers. If you require an additional door controller at an API installation, it must be connected to the AP Lite master controller via RS-485. The second reason is maybe this is a Primo or Access Portal site, but the closest Ethernet socket's over 100 meters away. In this case, you must run an RS-485 cable from the remote door controller to a master controller that is plugged into Ethernet. In this example, the RTOT2 master controller is mounted near an Ethernet socket and the slave cluster module is mounted at the remote point near the door where the reader is needed. Here are the cables you will need. Category 5 or 6 Ethernet cable with RJ45 plugs long enough to be comfortably routed from the RTOT2 to a suitable Ethernet switch or hub. You need two twisted pair screen Mala cable with conductors no thinner than 22 AWG for the OSDP reader. We recommend Belden 8732. You'll need RS-485 cable between the ITOT2 master and the cluster controller slave. For this we recommend two core screen Mala cable with copper no thinner than 22 AWG. We will begin the setting up at the master end and work towards the slave and the reader. Dip switch settings will only take effect on power up, so we'll begin this process with both master and slave controllers in the power down state. Remove the cover on the RTOT2 to access the dip switches. The top set of dip switches, mode, sets the controller mode. If this is a small installation running AP light, Set the controller mode switches to 0100. If you're working on a larger site using Access Portal or Primo, set the mode switches to 0110. Plug the Ethernet cable into the socket on the RTOT2 and route it to a suitable Ethernet switch with the cable length no longer than 100 meters. Next, we prepare the RS485 cable to link the RTOT2 master with the cluster controller slave. Cut a length of two core shielded Mala cable long enough to comfortably follow the route from the RTOT2 to the slave cluster controller module, allowing 30 centimeters extra each end. Make this no longer than a thousand meters total. Strip back the outer sheath by six centimeters both ends and strip the colored wires to expose six millimeters of copper. It is recommended that you use bootlace ferrules for connections to the controllers. Twist the copper strands neatly, apply the ferrule, and firmly crimp a ferrule to each of the four ends of this cable. Replace the RTOT2 lid so that you can see the terminal labels. Fasten the master end of the RS-485 cable to the DC-SC RS-485 port on the RTOT2. In this example we can see we have a red wire onto the A and a blue onto the B terminal. If you use different colors it's recommended that you're consistent with your A and B colors across the site. It's good practice to also connect the screen drain wire to the SHD terminal only on this master end of the cable. This will minimize the effects of electric magnetic interference. Power up the RTOT2 giving it a minute to complete its startup sequence. Remove the plastic tag from under the real-time clock button cell if that tag is still present. Watch the status LED. When the LED is shining continuously, you have network communications. Moving across to the remote end of the cable, again we connect the red wire to the A and the blue to the B terminal of the door controller terminals on the slave cluster controller module. Leave the screen disconnected on this end of the cable. Install an end-of-line jumper for the DC RS-485 port. If you have other slave units daisy-changed to the same RS-485 cable, only the last slave in line should have the end-of-line link in place. Using a star-shaped connection topology is not recommended. 
Remove the plastic battery tag from under the RCT button cell if this is still in place. Now we set all the dip switches in the remote combo cluster. First the cluster controller module dip switches must all be set to off for door controller mode. Then the dip switches on the OSDP reader module should all be set to off except switch number 5. This sets the module up for use with OSDP readers. If you're only using one reader, leave the second port dip switch all off. This will save on allocated addresses and minimize unnecessary communication. Before we wire the reader cables, note that the reader to tag range can be impacted if there's strong electromagnetic interference, if readers are mounted closer than half a meter from each other, or if readers are mounted back to back on opposite sides of the same wall. Cut a length of two pair shielded mylar cable long enough to comfortably route from the OSDP reader module to the reader location, no longer than 150 meters, as the reader's supply voltage will sag over longer lines. Prepare the OSDP reader cable the same way we did with the RS485 cable, on the cluster module end of the cable, with bootlace ferrules. No ferrules are on the reader end of the cable. Here is the advised wiring convention for the reader port. Wire the red to 12 volts, the blue to 0 volts. Wire the green to D0 slash A and the white to D1 slash B. Wiring the screen drain to SHD can help if there are concerns about the electromagnetic interference. Connect the terminating jumper to the reader cable you are using, J1 for reader 1 and J2 for reader 2. Wire up the reader end of the cable using the same colors you used on the OSDP reader module terminals. That's red to 12 volts, blue to ground, green to DA, and white to DB. Return to the slave cluster controller and power it up, allowing 30 seconds for it to boot up. The stat LED should eventually glow continuously, indicating you have communication via the RS-485 cable. The OSDP reader should now be powered up and flashing yellow. This installation is now ready for setting up using AP Lite, Access Portal or Primo software. That will be the subject of another video. If this video has been helpful, please click on the like icon.